today, this organization, this family, has suffered a horrific loss. Two sheriff's deputies gunned down, a third deputy wounded, and a carjacking victim in the hospital. We live as a family. Today we grieve as a family. And tomorrow, we will start hearing healing as a family. Tonight, 34-year-old Marcelo Marquez and a woman are in custody. This guy is on a one-man crime spree today, and he has no idea the damage he did. Accused in a deadly rampage that started in Sacramento and ended six hours later in Auburn. I think there's those people that would say, well, you know what? I wish you'd killed him. Yeah. That's not who we are. We are not him. Right now, investigators are still at several crime scenes, working late into the night while mourning two of their own. This is a very difficult day for all local law enforcement. And right now, investigators continue to process a series of crime scenes across two counties. This spree affected thousands of people today, from residents impacted by the searches to thousands of students locked down in their schools and families who are grieving tonight. Here's how it unfolded. At 10.20 this morning in Sacramento at Arden and Ethan Way, deputies responded to a Motel 6 to investigate a suspicious car. The sheriff says a person in that car opened fire on the deputies, killing one of them. The other deputy returned fire, and we know he shot the suspect's car. There were two suspects, a man and a woman. A witness said their next move was to carjack someone in the 700 block of Howe Avenue. The woman reportedly told the man to stop, but he shot the victim five times seriously injuring him. Then the suspects drove a short distance to Spanos Court and carjacked a Mustang. From there, they headed two and a half miles east, dumped the Mustang, and stole a red pickup truck from Coronado Boulevard and Castec Drive. That victim saw the male suspect's hand was bleeding. The suspects then took off for Auburn. A Placer County detective and deputy pulled over the truck at Maidu and Riverview. Here's the view from Livecopter 3. The sheriff's department says the suspect used an AR-15 rifle to attack them. He killed the detective and injured the deputy. At this location, the female suspect was taken into custody, but the man got away. And here's where it ended. After using tear gas and robots, they arrested Marcelo Marquez at this home on Belmont Drive. It's not clear how he got here. But when he was carried out on a stretcher, he was conscious, and we saw him looking around as he went into Sutter Auburn Faith Hospital. We now know the name of that female suspect. She is Janelle Monroy. The Associated Press reports she had a handgun in her purse. We're also learning more about the two officers who were killed in the deadly crime spree. Detective Michael Davis Jr. of the Placer County Sheriff's Department and Sacramento Sheriff's Deputy Danny Oliver. They were both longtime veterans of law enforcement.